Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about designing of experiments or DOE. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So basically, statistics deals with numerous experiments, and the experiment has to be designed to minimize the variability effect on result that means if you don't design your experiments properly the result would not be very much precise hence the purpose of the designing of experiment is to improve the precision of result so now let's talk about the history of doe in 17 47 James Lind he was a doctor on a ship so he designed experiment for the treatment of a disease scurvy so what he did in the ship he found 12 persons were suffering from scurvy so he selected them and he divided them into two groups group 1 and group 2 each group contained six persons and then he applied different drugs on them so group 1 was treated with drug A and group 2 was treated with drug B and he continued the treatment for two weeks and then he compared the outcomes and concluded the result so this is the history of designing of experiments which was performed in 1747 now let's talk about methodology of experimental design so ronald a fisher in 1935 proposed a methodology of experimental design so we are considering here an experiment and this experiment was not done by that person but for your understanding purpose i am just showing an experiment here so suppose this pond is full of fishes now we want to test the toxicity of a particular poison suppose x on these fishes so what are the methodologies we will follow so according to ronald a fisher the first methodology is randomization what does that mean so randomization is a best practice in order to create a trustful treatment group hence samples should be chosen randomly to reduce the bias that means here we can choose this fish this fish this fish and this fish so we will reduce our biasness and we will choose the fishes randomly next is replication so in order to increase the precision and decrease the experimental error an experiment should be performed at least thrice the result of a single experiment must not be easily accepted so the same experiment we have to conduct at least three times next is blocking so in order to bring more precision to the outcome all the possible unnecessary deviations should be eliminated suppose this fish population contains both young and old fishes now old fishes are more sensitive to this poison 
compared to Young. In that case, the result would not be precise. So we have to collect only old fishes or young fishes to undergo the experiment. Let's talk about steps for designing an experiment or DOE. So there are few steps for designing an experiment. First step is recognition of the problem. So recognition of the problem is the first step even before designing the experiment. Second is selection of factors. So there are certain factors which may influence the performance of the experiment. If these factors play a negative impact on the experiment, they are called trouble factors. Generally, researchers do not want to deal with these factors. Suppose in the fish experiment, the presence or absence of sunlight keeps different impact on the outcomes. But we don't want to consider this factor, hence it is just a trouble factor. But there are some other factors called design factors, which the researchers want to keep constant. Suppose these fishes are collected from fresh water. In that case, we have to maintain them in fresh water only throughout the experiment since salty water itself is a stress factor for them. So fresh water is a constant factor which is called design factor. So what we can conclude from here that uh, daylight and uh, night light might be having different impact on the outcome but we cannot control this factor. We cannot control this factor. Hence, we have to ignore this factor. So, it is called a trouble factor. Now, design factor is a factor which has a great impact on outcome and we can control the factor. For example, if we collect fishes, from fresh water, we can maintain them in fresh water in our laboratory throughout the experiment. Third is performing the experiment. So when the above steps are well performed, the researcher might start the experiment. Fourth is statistical analysis of the data. The data collected during experiment should be analyzed statistically to come to the valid conclusion. Next is final conclusion. So final conclusion should be drawn from the statistical analysis of the data. So let's talk about applications of DOE. Now designing of experiments finds place in all the areas including engineering, natural science, social science, computer programs, life science, evaluation of the physical structure, chemical formulations, statistical surveys, etc.